Yo, what's going on guys? Firebrunner here. And today I'm actually going to be doing a quick tutorial for you guys. Um, so basically I do coaching on the side, right? And I usually notice like the same similar mistakes that people have with their movement. Um, it goes, this ranges from like literally everyone from like, I get people who are like gold players to like even like low grand champs, right? They all have like similar mistakes in terms of their just their ground movement, right? Now, these mistakes are things that definitely can add up in the middle of a game. Um, it can make the really big difference in terms of like playing uh, fast. Uh, being a fast player is like one of the more important things in Rocket League. If you're not fast, um, you definitely can get I just straight up outpaced by other players, even if you play smarter than them. So speed in general, whether it be in the air or in the ground, is very important because the faster you are on the ground, the quicker you can get into position for the upcoming touch or for an upcoming aerial so first thing i want to get into right that i noticed with uh a lot of people that i do these coaching sessions with is so this is not so much for the higher level people but more for like the lower level of beginner people um i notice a lot of time people do a lot of front flipping um so front flipping is actually really bad um you really want to avoid front flipping at all costs in this game to be honest um mostly because it's just slow in general um front flipping literally takes you longer to get to supersonic than if you would just diagonal flip um diagonal flipping is just quicker overall um gets you better hits on the ball so this is just not just for your movement right just overall just in general when you're flipping um when you're hitting the ball you don't really want to front flip because you're gonna get a much weaker touch on the ball um the sweet spot on your the hitbox of the car right is in the top left and top right corner of the car so if that's since that's the case you never want to just front flip into the ball because you're not going to be hitting it in the sweet spot of the car um ideally you always want to be diagonal flipping you want to have the habit of diagonal flipping just you know off the ball so when you're hitting it on the ball you're always going to get a lot of power on your hits so you get something like that in comparison to something like this right it's a pretty big difference you're going to get a lot more height and power on on your hits and your shots more importantly too um, so yeah, just in general, front flipping is really bad. You really want to stray away from it. You really just want to get in the habit of always diagonal flipping as much as you can. Um, you'll see that, like, if you ever watch an RLCS match or anything like that, like super high level play, you'll really rarely see players front flip because it's just overall um, slow and unnecessary where diagonal flipping exists and speed flipping exists. And we'll get to speed flipping in a little bit, but I just wanted to break down the cons of front flipping and the pros of diagonal flipping. It's just overall just way better in general. Um, now the next thing I want to talk about that I see a lot of people do this mistake, right? And I don't even I really haven't seen this on YouTube before, um, I, but I feel like it's like a thing most high level players know about, but they haven't really. I don't know. I've never really seen it before. Like I explained, but so power sliding, right? So before I get into it, right? With power sliding, I personally. And I like a lot of like high level players, they have power slide bound to L1, right? Well, I guess left bumper on Xbox if you're an Xbox player. Um, I have it it's usually like, I have it like this because it's just more comfortable. It's just easier to have a finger just dedicated to power sliding, right? Uh, so you can power slide and boost at the same time, power slide and jump, whatever, right? You can just do multiple inputs at once while you're power sliding. It's pretty useful, right? So I have it just bound to L1. Now, with power sliding, most people, what they do, you just, you know, like you just hold down power slide, right? Hold down L1 in my case, right? You're just holding it down, whatever. So it's actually not what you want to do. You actually don't want to hold down power slide when you're, you want to do like, let's say a 180, right? You actually don't want to do that because it's slower. I'm going to explain why it's slower in a sec. But so what you actually want to do when you want to do a 180, or a 90 degree turns, you actually want to tap power slide like a lot. Like you're like, so say you're like feathering boost like this, right? That's kind of how you want to power slide. That's how kind of how you want to tap power slide. So I'm going to boost and power slide just to show you guys the difference of like what it does. So if I boost and power slide and hold power slide, it looks something like this, right? Pretty standard. So if I want to do a 180, okay, pretty, pretty standard, right? But what you want to do is you actually want to feather it like i was saying so if i'm going to do 180 it'll look more like this so you see how like it's way sharper your car kind of like whips around right 
huge difference. So a lot tighter and a lot sharper. Reason being behind why that is, is because when you hold power slide, your car slides on the ground, literally, it's in the, in the name, <laughs> your car slides, right? So when you're doing this sliding animation, it takes like, I, I'm, not, I'm not a fucking physics expert with this stuff, but it just takes like, it, your car just slides around on the ground, right? And just takes longer to turn around. Whereas when you tap power slide multiple times, it cancels the animation and it just turns around quicker. It just hooks more. You see how it's just like way sharper than when you hold it, your car kind of like opens up more too. It just, cause it's sliding. So in general, right? You just want for 180s or 90 degree turns, you really just want to tap power slide a bunch. Even for 90 degree turns, skirt. Very, very simple, right? Is it super easy to learn? You guys, if you guys hop into free play, like under like a few minutes, you guys will probably get it down, right? The only thing I, I will say though is, so when you're doing this, when you're tapping power slide a bunch, your car will just lock into place as soon as you let go of power slide. So as long as you you got that last tap in, your car will instantly snap into place as to wherever you're facing. So if I want to face the ball, oh well, scored. If I'm power slide, I'm facing the ball, I let go, instantly I'm, I snapped into place, right? So that's the biggest thing, one of the bigger things, right? Power slide, you don't really ever want to hold power slide when you want to do a 180 or 90 degree. I'm sure there's some times where you will have to just hold just because if it's like a small turn or whatever, but this is mostly for like your 180s and like sharp turns. Like if you have to turn really sharp, you just want to tap it a bunch, right? All right, so that's power sliding done. Okay, so we got front diagonal flipping done and we got the power slide thing done. Now the next thing, really quick, is speed flip. Speed flip, this is, if you guys are like, I would say under champ, really, you don't need to learn this. It would be really good if you do learn it, because I guarantee you a lot of people at your rank are probably not doing it. Um, but if you are, I would say champ two or above, I would highly suggest learning this, right? It's not too hard to learn. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm get into it though. So speed flipping, I'm sure there's a bunch of speed flipping tutorials on YouTube. That's why I'm not making its own video on it. But yeah, so speed flipping, literally all it is is a diagonal flip cancel. If you guys know what a flip cancel is, it's literally just when you jump, when you're front flipping, you, you jump, and then on that second flip forward, you just snap your analog stick straight back down. So I'll just show you guys one more time. It looks something like this, right? I'm just literally snapping it up and then back down on the second jump as you're flipping forward. Okay, so speed flipping, is literally the exact same thing as a flip cancel. The only difference is, is you're just doing it at an angle. So if I personally, I always speed flip to the left. Um, I don't know, it's just natural to me. I die and flip to the left. It's just easier, it's just more comfortable for me, right? So the way I do it is literally, so how I explain a flip cancel is just up, down, right? I know it looks a little bit weird, but that's because of my sensitivities and stuff. So it's just up, down, directly up, down. Speed flip, if I wanna do it to the left, how I usually do it, it's literally just, if it, let's say my analog stick is a clock, it's a 10 and then four. So 10 o'clock and four o'clock. So the main, main thing I've noticed with people that struggle with doing this is that they'll do the 10 o'clock, but then they'll go back down to six. So it'll look something like this, right? Cause they're going back down. But with the flip cancel, you're mirroring the input. So that's exactly what you want to do with a, a speed flip. If you're diagonal flipping to the left, you want to cancel to the left. So you have to go uh, top left, bottom right, Ex like in exactly mirrored input. So it looks something like this. Now, however, if you don't, there was one more thing I'll add, but I just wanna, I just wanna make sure you guys understand this first, that the, you have to literally mirror the, the input or else your speed flip will mess up and it'll look something like this, it'll look super janky and you'll spin out. So make sure to mirror the input. Same thing if you're gonna do it the opposite direction, so the opposite direction would be, what would it be? Two and eight. Yeah, I got my clock skills right, okay. So it would be two and eight. So it looks something like this, right? Yeah, I think, yeah. I was just kind of awkward for me because I don't really do the left one. But yeah, something like that, it's kind of janky. Yeah, something like that. I can't do the right one for some reason, but the left one is easier for me. For its preference, like I never do the left or the right one, but yeah, the left one is just a lot easier for me. But it's the exact same concept, just two in it. You want to mirror that input. However, so if one last thing I should add though, so when you're doing the speed flip, 
If you notice, I'm on my, my controller overlay, right? I'm holding L1 while I'm doing this for two reasons. So for me, I have air roll and power slide both bound to L1. It's just can, more convenient for me, it's easy, right? Um, the reason I'm holding both is so if I don't, so let's say I don't air roll, right? Let's say I'm not holding L1. My speed flip will look something like this. So you see how I did it rotate fully all the way there. Um, so the reason I use I hold L1 is so I can air roll. So I can kind of give it that extra little oomph at the end to like make sure the car lands on all four wheels. So I'll just like kind of rotate it near the end. Give it that little extra boost so I can land on all fours. Also, another reason why I'm holding L1 is like I said, I'm hold I'm I have it bound to power slide and uh, air roll. So I'm using it to air roll to land on all four wheels but then as i'm landing i'm also holding power slide so i can continue my momentum like i said earlier so you when you're landing you always continue momentum while you hold power slide um so if you land awkwardly this is for like i'm sure like most of you guys who are mid to high level know this but yeah i'm just in case anyone doesn't know if you land awkwardly right and you hold power slide your car will continue its momentum no matter how it's landed or what direction it's facing so no matter what you always continue its momentum where if i don't hold power slide right your car kind of just spin out so that's just a quick tip just to like the beginners out there that don't know about this little bit, bit that when you're holding power slide it kind of just continues the momentum no matter how you're facing okay so like i was saying i'm holding power slide on the end of the speed flip so i can kind of chain my speed flips together like i would say like i just explained you're continuing your momentum as you're landing so I'm literally just holding power air roll to get it over, and then I'm holding power slide to continue its momentum and chain my speed flips together. So as I'm rotating, I'm just boop, 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 boop. Get, I get back so fast. So the re speed flipping is so, so good, not just to like, you know, be fast or whatever, but it's actually also really good for boost management. Because literally, if I tap boost, right, like one, let's say I'm driving, I tap boost once, speed flip, instantly supersonic, right? Whereas if I'm not doing that, I might have to like boost, die in a flip, keep boosting, die in a flip, like, you know, kind of expend a little bit more boost than needed. Whereas if I'm just rotating, speed flip, speed flip, I don't even need to boost really. See, I can just continue, continually be supersonic forever pretty much if I wanna. So yeah, so that's kind of the basics of, of car movement and you're kind of to become a faster player overall. Um, I hope this guy this helped you guys. Um, this hope like kind of applies to all levels, but yeah, if you guys want to see more tutorials like this, like maybe positioning, rotation, aerial, like fast aerials, there's like countless stuff I can do this on. But I just want to put this one out there just to see how you guys see it. If you guys like this sort of stuff, uh, I don't mind making them. I can do a lot more of these. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If this did help you at all, be sure to leave a like. Uh, really goes a long way. And subscribe if you guys are new. See more content like this. Yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much the end of the video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.